thoughts on Gustav getting to go the full 90 against Russia? That was good. That was good. I mean, it's good if they if they're gonna make the trip. It's almost better if they play. Really, I mean, you might as well, right? They all come back kind of grumpy if they don't get a chance to play. So, in that sense, it was good. Not an injury, so everything okay. Are you holding out any hope for getting guys in time that they could actually contribute in Orlando? On Wednesday, probably not. I mean, we don't want to, at this stage of the year, we don't want to risk injury. Now, I could be swayed if it was a first class bed, you know, the flight, they didn't play, they, you know, I, I could be swayed, but that's a, you know, discussion we can't have until, you know, Wednesday. We're, we're flying guys into Orlando, but whether they play or not, who's to say? Because we're just continuing that road trip to Houston after Orlando. Is the, would you say that the, back-to-back -back performances in these last two games has washed out any bad tastes from the previous two games? Uh, no, I, I, we're still, we are still as a staff kicking ourselves, figuring out ways how we could be better. Uh, so you had a home game that we felt was winnable, why didn't we? We're still asking questions. The road game, in case we match up with LA in the playoffs. There's a possibility there. How did we, how did that game manifest itself? How are we going to learn from that game in order to make sure that, you know, because look, Slotan's a big deal. Dom's actually got him going pretty good. So yes, I mean, it was great that we got a couple of good results, but, you know, internally we're still searching for answers. It was great. I tell you, the pluses was, you know, Victor Rodriguez coming on. I think that was really good at the last couple games. Um, so, good and bad. You mentioned uh, the play these last two games. Christian has had has started to look more and more comfortable as a wide player. Um, I'm imagining that you still think of him as a better player in the middle, but do you think he's he's kind of showing himself to be more than just capable of playing out there, but maybe a, a actually dangerous outside player? He is tactically astute so any place you put him on the field he'll be able to figure out a way how to make contributions to the squad that's number one number two does he have the engines to get up and down the field from a wide position yes he does what i've liked about that is his kind of partnership with kelvin you know because i've used christian as a right back you know so that is a really good reminds me a little bit of new who and joven jones last year you know, with that interchangeability on the fly during games. Uh, do I think of him more as an inside player? Yeah, for the long term. But, you know, there's no, there's no guarantees in this world. I mean, if he continues to score goals, if he continues to be able to get the timing right to come inside where we want to try and create overloads in the middle of the field, you know, he could stay there. Our system is devised on guys pinching in and our outside backs going so you know Christian is certainly playing inside so to speak even though his starting position is technically what you guys want to call a number you know 11 7 you know right wing whatever you guys want to call it what do you concentrate on when you're missing guys at like training today? What are things you can concentrate on and still get the full, full value of the training? Well, there was there was a lot of it's it's a reintroduction day, so not much work in a team setting, but a lot of individual work going on out there. Uh, Precky's doing his normal now normal routine with Will. Uh, Jimmy's working with Nuhu. Gonza was working with Handwall and Alex, a couple guys that might feature in Orlando just getting their timing right coming inside, making sure they understand the cues. And, you know, we included uh, Chad and Kim and Ozzy today in those little movements with the midfielders. So it's not just a coach passing you the ball, but it's actually your teammate. So, you, you know, we're, we're working on more individual stuff and maybe smaller groups. You talk about Jordan Morris's attitude. It seems to be doing more and more as we watch from the side and talk about where he's at. Well, the, the medical team will give me updates when it's when it's prudent. Um, he is on a on a on a climb. He'll he'll keep working hard until he's ready. 
I mean, he loves coming out. Everybody loves coming out here on these nice days. Kicking a ball, touching the ball, he gets all excited. We got him into the warm up again. So he's, he's, he's moving closer. Obviously, you know, everyone's playing with some degree of pain at this stage in the season. What goes into, you know, trying to keep guys getting their, their bodies right as you're staring down the last couple yeah, of weeks? Actually, other than the, I mean, other than the injured guys and then Ramon took a little, you know, knock in training, other than that, the guys are feeling pretty good. I mean, that break in September helped a little bit. This little time off kind of helped a little bit. I think the guys that are on the field are relatively healthy. How is Ramon? He's okay. He's got a bone bruise. He's a tough kid. How, how closely are you watching Victor going forward, just given his history and, and the fact that it's taken him a while to, to be able to go consecutive? Uh, we are watching him score goals. We are watching his training like we have for the last two months. That's where, you know, we, I don't know if you guys talk enough about Damian uh, Roden, but, you know, he does such a fantastic job with, with all the guys. I mean, he's got a wealth of experience from the EPL and he knows exactly what the guys should be doing when and so part of Victor's you know progression is you know contributed to Victor for sure because I said the other day he's a good pro but then Damien knowing when to push when to lay off a little bit we're we're certainly watching that with keen eyes there are a couple of guys whose contracts will be up at the end of the year. Obviously, you're focused on the soccer, but have you ever found that it can sometimes be difficult with certain guys who are in contract years to keep them mind on the game and not most the of the guys, Most of the guys on this squad since I've taken over have been able to overcome some of those real-life challenges. Look, it goes on in the background mostly because they all have agents and we have Garth and Chris. So it's in the background. But yes, it can be a distraction, but knock on wood, it hasn't been at this franchise since I've been here.